Hey folks, welcome back to Lon Paul's No Man's Sky Expedition Run. We're going to do one more run here. Hopefully it won't be any longer than about an hour. Um, as you might remember from the last episode, we had just a little bit further to go. We're going to survive the clutches of a deep sea horror. Uh, we do have to make it to rendez rendezvous, the Rendezvous 5. Can't talk anymore. So we're going to see what we can do. I think I'm going to go to Rendezvous 5 first and then see what we can do about surviving the clutches of a horror. And we'll show you how that can be done. Fortunately, if you're lucky, you can sometimes run across an undersea abyssal horror um, without even trying. Um, but other times it doesn't work out as well as that. So let's go ahead and head out to our last rendezvous. And I'm believing in the last system that we go to, we should find at least one water planet. There's enough planets there, at least five. Sorry about that, had to clear my throat, didn't want to just do that microphone, so I had to mute for a moment. That better not be another battle. Okay, I think we're good. Bleak planet. What's you? Boiling planet. Oh, ancient bones. Well, guess what? We need to head there. Huh. Alright, alright, right. Focus, focus. I don't know what these planets hold. So like I said, there should be four. There should be one up here. Uh, verdant. And we did that one. Whoa, hello. Bleak. I think we already did that one. There's one hidden back there. And a little guy over here. That looks like you have water. Yeah, I believe you do. Let's cut to the mi miasmatic planet. And we'll catch ourselves a... Abyssal Horror. Sure, why not? Is it a traitor? Yes, it is. Goodbye, traitor. Boom. Slingshot our way past. I love the inside of these Explorer-class ships. And the ship I was trying to think of in the last episode, the exotic ships. Yeah. As much as I love solar ships, exotic ships are probably my second best favorites. I do love a good-looking fighter on occasion. Nice pointed nose, kind of the hot rod style. I do like those ships a lot. Uh, I have one of my own in my regular safe, but uh, and I saw one at the last space station. Really cool, really cool ship, but just not practical right now. I mean, uh, it's not like I don't have the credits right now. I'm running at 12.8 million credits, and I haven't even been doing much except playing the game itself. So uh let's head towards an ocean oh yeah of course i'm gonna get a ton of these big huge ships flying in oh yeah yeah go away okay let's pick an island and that back out to third person view yeah this will work Yeah, let's land right here. I don't think they were aggressive sentinels here, right? Nope, there's none. Good. Alright, so we need to build a little something called the Nautilon Chamber. To get that, we need crystal sulfides, which, we, as you remember, we collected on one of those planets we were on. We had plenty of salt, and I knew we were going to need them. The only thing we need left now is metal plates. So, let's make them. We'll just make them here. Actually, make them in the inventory over here. Because if we go far enough out, see we need the salt. And we got the crystal sulfides. Okay. Let's head out a little bit. We gotta get past these reeds into deeper water. This looks like it'll work just fine. Okay, Nautilon Chamber. Must be constructed underwater, like I said. I need one more metal plate. My bad. There we go. 
Now, the second thing we need is we need to build something in the nylon chamber. We don't really need fuel. It automatically charges it or says it's charged. I think that's a glitch in the system. But the thing we definitely need to have here, it's really quiet all of a sudden, there's no game audio, or I can't hear any. Anyway, is the high power sonar. So we need one more crystal sulfide, we need a solar mirror. So I don't know if I have the recipe for a solar mirror in my inventory yet. Oh, I do. Okay, so I need gold and silver. I think I have that on my ship. Doo -doo -doo. But I need a crystal sulfide. Is there any around, by the way? Yeah, let's go ahead and check you guys out, too, while we're here. You never know when you might need to have them. I don't need that. Oh. Let's go ahead and grab that, since it's right, right over here. just destroyed the crystal sulfide. Great. There we go. I just need one more. Okay, you're done. That's pretty cool. Okay, we'll head back. We need gold and silver. Because we do need the underwater sonar. And we need to find a certain structure. And we'll be able to fly there. See how close we have to get to the ship. Should be close enough. this. I need a solar mirror. Let's go ahead and create the solar mirror. There it is. I'm going to put it right here. And created. So what are we going to do with that? We're going to use that to find crash freighter. No. Sunken buildings. The sunken building has been detected. And it's over there. So before we leave... Back into the build menu, delete the part. Delete the part. Don't worry about this. You can make it reappear wherever you are. But see, the good news is, I now have all that inventory back again. See? Got everything back. Transfer that stuff over to this inventory real quick. Yeah, hang on to it. Never know. And we're going to fly over to that sunken thing, and there'll be an abyssal horror there. And now you know what my gun is for. Right down there. Always try to recharge that. Okay, switch over to my pulse spitter. And you see that nice little creature right there? You want to let yourself get caught. And then use the T. Tap yourself free. And then shoot him. And collect his eyeball for the sake of it. There should be one more, usually either on the other side of the building, sometimes on top. 
Okay, now you can go in the building and explore and get some stuff if you wish. I'm not in the mood. So we're done. No reason to continue this anymore. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's inside my ship. Okay. Okay. Let's go to our menu. Collect the reward. Uh, for three nice, powerful weapons that we'll never use. Now, if you were to continue, you can turn this into a normal save later and use them, but I see no reason to continue them. I have a kitty kitty cat sitting next to me, and he's meowing at me. Wants attention and a little scritching. Sorry, let me take a second here. Yeah, we're cat lovers in this family. He's literally sitting on a tray table right at my elbow. If you see me start doing weird things in the game, it's probably because he's reaching out with a paw and tapping me. Okay, so we've completed this. This gives you the exotic wing pack. I, I've liked this one as far as one of my more favorite wing packs, to be honest. But that completes out Phase 3 and Phase 4. So we're all done with Phase 1, 2, 3, and now 4. Let's move on to 5. We've got to reach the final rendezvous. Guess what? We're already in the system. So let's go ahead and head there, shall we? Dee -dee -dee. Off planet. And we're on our way. And it's a long way away. It's going to take us an actual full minute to get there. Uh, let me see if there's anything we need to charge. Pulse engine needs to be charged up. Uh, I'm not even worried about the hyperdrive. We know we only charged it one time the whole game. It's pretty cool. Yeah, what do we got? Another trader? Oh, what's that? Cool. I honestly don't know what that is. It's a living metalloid. Okay. I didn't know that would happen. Oh, I gotta know how much that thing's worth. Sweet. Pretty cool, actually. All right. Would have been cool if it was some kind of, uh, you know, that other particular one where we meet a deep space sentient. But yeah, hey, I'll take what we got. So uh, the worst part about this whole thing about reaching this particular uh, rendezvous is that we're going to have to come all the way back to the space station in order to get the missions. So. Maybe somebody on the planet made a base, and maybe they made a transporter. If they did, we'll be in good shape. What? Oh my gosh. What, are you trying to sell me uh, extended the warranty on my car or something like that? Jesus. They'll just hit you everywhere, won't they? Sorry, instead of doing this early in the morning, I decided to do it a little bit late at night in order to get it done, so if I'm a little bit slap-happy, please excuse me. All right. So I'm thinking it's not there, it's probably by that communication station. And we'll probably try to hit that base over there and see if they have a teleporter. That would be really nice. Uh, I don't think it's up here. I'm thinking it's down there. Yep, yep. This is it. Boink. We made it. I wonder, can we go ahead and put a... Let's see. I don't know if it'll let us right now. No edit permission, yeah. Even though we don't have the materials to build it, it's no edit permission anyway. Somebody made a base nearby, that's what that means. And I haven't been able to delete it. I think it's up here someplace. Yeah, it's on the other side of this, and it's unreachable. See, it doesn't actually exist. I keep trying to select it to see if I can report it. OK, 
Occasionally you can select them. Anyway, not important. So, we re we made that. Let's go ahead and collect it. 1,000 nanites, usual slots. What's next? I want to excavate the bones. I think that would be easier to do at this point. Where is my ship? Over here. Wow, yo, easy, easy. Lots of comments from everybody. Awesomeness. See, like I said, what a great community, right? Okay, so we're gonna head out. All right, what plants do we have? We have one that had bones on it. Verdant, nope, that didn't have it. You, ancient bones, boiling planet, that's where we wanted to go. And it looks like the space station is somewhat close by. So let's go collect bones. We need 10 of them. Now, some people have been saying they've been having trouble finding them, that they've been glitching out on them, so I don't know how true that is. I haven't had any trouble the last time last time I did it, which was just a few days ago. I did it on Thursday. Uh, I didn't have any trouble finding them all. So. So, not bad. We're only 16 minutes in so far. We've got only... How many? Three more to go. One is going to be rather quick, quicker. Uh, this one might take a few minutes to scout around. Uh, as I find bones, I'll go ahead. If, if I can find some pretty quickly, then I'll just keep recording. But if not, I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video and just show you completing that mission. All right, here we go. I always scan real quick to see if there's any landing places I might get lucky with. Eh, trading. One more shot, and we'll call it. Some place up here. Eh, nothing. All right. Let's stay up high. We'll be calling our ship to us anyway. Let's make sure we're fully charged on our thrusters. Uh, looks like we got one out this way. Only 700 clicks away. I don't see any more. Let's go ahead and head up. Now, the good thing about this planet, it's a hot planet, if you haven't noticed already. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to be losing my voice probably somewhere through this episode. It's okay, it tends to get deeper. And then it turns into No Man's Sky ASMR. And I can start whispering and ticking into a microphone and nobody can understand anything I'm saying. Again, it's late here. Oh, crap. <laughs> Thank heavens it's not permadeath mode. Alright, folks, let's start this whole thing over again. Um, yeah, you're a little spazzy there, eh, buddy? Yeah, that's how I feel some days. He had a couple Red Bulls to me. That's probably what I'll look like. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I probably need to get some bed. Some sleep time. Bed. Bedtime sleep. You know, that kind of thing. All right, so we're at our first bone site. Uh, manipulator. We're going to go on the widest setting. And it looks like there's only one bone here. Sometimes there will be multiple ones that will suddenly show up. There's one. So, how much room do we have? We have room. Okay, good. There's another one out this way. 510. Let me just make sure there's no others. And it looks like there's more than one over there, so let's head that direction. Yep, hello. hate when that happens. How you doing? All right. I don't know why I do that. I'm originally from New York, and the Brooklyn comes out every now and then. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Ah, uh, you know, it is what it is. Hey, where'd it go? 
Okay, looks like we got three of them over here. Let's go ahead and get my life support up to snuff. All right. Hi, guys. How you doing? Ooh, four. Just carve out the landscape, folks. It's easier. Looks like we got some very high money ones here. 922. 690. That's just cheap one. And that's a cheap one, too. Okay. So we're up to five bones. We're getting pretty lucky here. Because honestly, um, I've never found bones so close to each other. So I know that 700 units seems to be kind of a ways, but that's actually not terrible. Ah. Let's just get up the hill. I think we're just going to have to run this hill. It's a little bit too steep and a little bit not so steep in order to really facilitate anything. Oof, this is nice. See how far we can get. Love getting up these hills. Just when you get to the bottom of your meter, get closer to the ground. There you go. That was a good jump. That got us about 400 units. I go the rest of the way real quick. And it looks like we've got two here. That one looks like a pretty decent one. Oh, three of them. Nope, they're just regular ones. Okay, three. So we need two more. Okay, great. Too far to estimate. So let's do this. We got five navigation units. Let's call the ship in, and what we'll do is we'll just quickly hop, skip, jump to someplace else. Find our last two bones. What do you say? Is that? Let's see what's over here. Hey, landing platform. Nice. Very nice. Hey, while we're here, we'll get back our navigation data. Very nice. So it looks like 23 minutes in. It looks like we're just about to ready to complete our last one. Isn't that convenient? Not bad, not bad. Twisted my ankle a little bit. We're all right. Back. Of course, we're going to run into stuff. Okay, so we just need two, right? How many we got? We have two. Alright, let's call the ship in. Alright. Okay, gonna hop on the ship here. I just need to take care of something real quick, and I'll be right back. We're gonna pause here. And we're back. So, let's go ahead and get these. Oh, well, you know, there's three, three of them here. thought there was two, and it turns out there's three. I'll go ahead and get the third one anyway, just because I'm here. One, two, and three. Okay. So we're all done here. That gives us the ten fossils we need. 
and a full inventory, so we're going to have to hit the space station real quick, which we had to anyway. We can't collect the reward yet, because our inventory is full, in case you didn't notice. Okay, off we go. Get off this forsaken world, and on to the space station. Good. Now that we're a lot closer to it. And we're in sight of the end. We have five missions to do. Really nice graphics there. I really like that a lot. Much better than it used to be. Okay. Real quick. Saw all this crap off. So, uh, blah blah blah. We got some storage augmentations to get taken care of too. Bone, 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 and bone. How about one more bone? There we go. Okay, check inventory. Good. That was weird. I swear I heard something over here. Yeah, that's a nice little ship. Okay. Augmentations, here we go. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Get this. We got two upgrades. Uh, let's put them over here. Come on. And there. That fills it out. Yep, looks good. Okay. And one for the multi-tool. Okay, so we're done with them. That clears out more of our inventory. Now we do need to do the Explorer's Guild, like it says. I need five of them. So I'm going to do these missions. These missions can sometimes take a little bit, so I may pause the video while I'm doing the missions. You come here to the mission, mission agent. You choose the mission that is for... Okay, my brain just literally went dead. For... Explorer. Duh. Okay. So anything that says Explorer's Guild is what we want to go with. Love to do this one, but we're not we're not a high enough standing to get this particular level. So we have to stick to the plus ones. This is a protection. We need to kill three sentinels. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one. Because I just like taking out sentinels. So now you know why I got the gun I got. Now your best thing to do, check the planet. Okay, look for a planet that has high sentinel activity at the very least. Since this, since this one is close, we're going to go ahead and do this one. That means that sentinels will pop up shortly after we land on the planet. Attack them, attack one, a few more will uh, be attracted to you. You can attack the rest until you get to the three that you need to get through to. Cloud cover. Let's just land someplace. Yeah, this looks good. Huh, what do you know? There's something right there. Yeah, it looks good. So, I would normally fight them to the death and take out every single sentinel I can and go through all the five levels, but I'm going to do a little something special here. One. Two. Three. 
We'll just take you out just because. Let's collect the supplies. Should be one over here. Hmm, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I'm up behind there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is they're searching for me for 20 seconds. I'm just going to hide from them at this point. Just keep running around in a circle for now. Until you get through the 20 seconds and I just landed in a hole. Okay, we're done. And they're deactivated. And you're set. What kind of bull is that? Sorry, it literally looks like a bull. I wasn't being bad. Those look like running beetles. That looks like a, another type of creature. There we go. If you right click with your, uh, when you're in this mode, you hold down F and you right click, you'll zoom in two levels. See? Uh, I just found five of eight creatures. Hurt myself on that one. Interesting. I just found six of eight creatures just by being on the planet. Okay, back to the ship. Okay, so that completes out one of the um, iterations here. Uh, one of the rewards. Uh, we head back to the space station. So this is how they work. To the mission, a mission agent again. We turn in the mission, let him know we've completed it. He already knows we completed it. We're just turning it in as a... Uh, for the sake of argument. go. Perfect. Okay. Now I didn't get my mission reward. Hold on. And we get a deep space lure of 750,000 units. See? And we can make one. So I'm going to put this on my ship right now, and maybe we'll do that one while we're at it. So let's complete this one real quick. Go back to the reward that you had. See, mission complete. Select it, and in mission. You automatically get, well, you get the reward, but you get the Explorer's Guild standing has gone up one. You see it's one of five now, so we want to get the second one. Explorer, 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 here you are. Uh, wisdom of Crowds. Instead of offering rewards to any kind of money, leads to delivers, they're shopping for them. So we have to collect 250 paraffinium and bring it to them. There we go. And we'll do that one. But, in the, but before we do that, We need 250 paraffinium. Let's just make sure we can't get some over here. Because maybe we'll be fortunate enough that somebody will be carrying it on their ship. Oh my, look at that, huh? <sighs> Sorry, man. There's just something about those solar ships that always gets me. There's a beauty to them that is just undeniable. See if he has any paraffinium. No, he does not. They could be some right in the trade station there. Wow, that's a loud ship. You need to turn down the volume, my friend. I think you need to adjust it. Uh, nope. Sit over here. He's loud. Next to, next to an 18-wheeler. Oh, it is a hauler. Oh... Yeah, I definitely need to go to bed.
Nope. No one has paraffinium. So I'm probably going to have to mine it off a stinking planet. Fast allowed ship. We'll check with this shuttle real quick. Another explorer class. Just for grins and giggles. We're here. Platinum, pugnium. Nope. None. Okay. We'll check one last spot. If we can't get it, we can't get it. We'll have to mine it from the planet. Platinum, pugnium, and we're at the last. Nope, no paraffinium. Okay, we'll have to go get some. Okay, so before we do, and I will get some, I'm going to pause the mission when we get to that point, but we're going to go ahead and complete that last one, and we're going to go ahead and meet the deep space sentience. Uh, pyrite. Phosphorus. There should be another planet over here. Paraffinium, go figure. Okay. So let's go ahead and pulse out. While we're there, we're going to go ahead and do this. And generate it. And look at the bottom right, you see it's activating. It's looking for what we're looking for. And as soon as it says it found something, just hit your space button. And look what we found. Just get close enough for it to talk to you. Go ahead and activate your transceiver. Shut down communicator. And that's it. And guess what? There's your other mission. Milestone is complete. So we collect that one. We get a supreme hyperdrive upgrade, an emergency signal detector, and an anomaly detectors. Three of them each. And there you go. So it basically, let's go ahead and upgrade while we're here. Uh, what was that? 221. Let's get rid of the X class one because it's useless to me. Another 221 light years. Pretty good hyperdrive range, isn't it? And our everything here is a little bit full. But that's okay. So it's giving us like the ending scene, even though we literally have a little bit ways to go here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. We'll come back in just a little bit as we do our best to gather up the paraffinium. I'm going to see if I can't complete a few more missions. and We'll come back and complete it all. And I'll show the ending. So this ought to be kind of a much shorter video than I've done before. So hope you've enjoyed it so far. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So that completed out the missions. So just to show you where we're at right now, we're at four or five. This is about to turn in my fifth mission. It's going to complete out phase five. Mission complete. And that does it. And also, and of course, we get our famous end music. So we'll go ahead and collect the reward. Repair kit, navigation data, album and pearls. No big deal. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Phase five complete. Complete the reward. We get the titles, the banners, the decals, and more importantly, one's complete, two's complete, three's complete, four's complete, five is complete. All rewards have been taken. Final phase shows all five complete. Collect the reward. You get the Sentinel Quad Companion Egg. And there you are. All expedition goals complete. 
Your save will now convert to a standard save. If you wish to continue, earned rewards can be collected on a save via the Quick Silver Synthesis Companion on the Space Anomaly. Be sure to back check back for the start of new expeditions soon. So, we have completed it. It is now done. We are complete. So we have in our inventory the album and pearls. We have stuff we don't really need. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all this. Not necessary. Raw steaks from all the animals I had to kill during all this nonsense. And we now have a metallic hatching unit, which is going to be our quad. I got two of them. How interesting. No complaints. I can go ahead and edit them however I wish. So, but I'm going to end it here. Uh, if you'd like to see what the animal looks like, well, you should probably have to complete this expedition yourself. And look at that. 29 million for the exotic ship. Cute ship, though. Gotta admit, they're good looking ships, man. Anyway. And that completes our episode. So, want to thank you for watching. This has been all five levels of this expedition. All five phases are now complete. Feel free to play it on your own. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comments. I'll be glad to ask them, uh, answer them as I can. Um, again, thank you for watching, and if you uh, would hit that like button, I really appreciate it. Thank you, and good night.